Welcome everyone back again to another Foxtech video. This time we talk about the email on your iPad, more specifically how to change the email on essentially any iPad mail, but we're going to stuck or we're going to stick with the a blue mail icon from Apple. So how can you add a new account there? So open up the settings of your iPad and you want to head over to the mail section. So it depends on which version of iPad OS you have, but in the latest one, completely at the bottom, we have the apps section. So you can tap on this and then look up mail right there and just click on this to get it inside. A couple of different settings, of course, everything can be customized, but I want you to click on mail accounts. And in here, you can see the accounts that you have set up. Like it might be just one, it might be multiple of them, and you can manage them individually, or you can add a new one. So if you click on add account, you have some built in ways to like add very popular uh, email accounts like Google, Yahoo, iCloud, and things like that, but you might as well just add a different one, right? So if you click on other, you can click a new, uh, like add a new mail account, and there you can even use, use it for a custom domain email or for some provider, which is just not available from the selected list. Right, so this is how you can change it. Of course, uh, these are added to your mail uh, application. So you can always just switch in between them inside of the actual mail. When you go in here and click on the left icon, you can see the mailboxes. So you can even switch to a different mailbox if you have already added them. But yeah, up to you to decide. Personally, I like to have my email my emails separated by different clients. So for example, I have my iCloud mail in the blue mail icon, but I have my Gmail in the official Gmail app. So yeah, up to you to decide, but that's kind of how it works. Thank you very much for watching. If you have anything you want to let me know about, just use the comment section below. Or if you have some questions, go ahead and leave a comment there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.